The Arctic, the most sensitive region to human impact in the whole world and one of the richest in mineral reserves. Russia owns quarter of this territory. The country's future plans include increasing the extraction of the natural resources. At the same time, environmental risks are not deterrent in the situation of the isolation by the West. Today, when major international environmental organizations have been expelled from Russia, when international research and environmental projects have been frozen in the connection with Russian aggression against Ukraine, the international environmental control of its actions has been minimized. What might the Arctic in the near future and what projects is Russia going to implement there? Which are dangerous for the environment? We will try to answer these questions in this video. The Arctic region has traditionally played an outsized role in the Russian economy. 20% of all exports from Russia come from this area. According to Moscow's Higher School of Economics, 80% of Russian natural gas, 17% of oil, almost all nickel and cobalt, 60% of copper, and almost 100% of diamonds and rare earth materials are produced here. The head of the Ministry for the Development of the Russian Far East, Alexei Chikunkov, emphasized that Russia accounts for more than 70% of all economic activity in the region. It is no coincidence that Russian official documents related to the Arctic prioritize economic development over environmental protection. The Arctic is a region that is extremely sensitive to any anthropogenic impact, so Bellona is very concerned about its future. Today, Russian plans for development of the Arctic include Rosatom's plan to build a mining and processing plant, the production volume 220,000 tons of zinc concentrate and 50,000 tons of lead concentrate. This is an unprecedented quantity for the Nova Zemlya archipelago. The development of lithium deposits by Rosatom and Norilsk Nickel. The development of new oil and coal deposits for open pit mining. The largest project of this kind would be Vostok Oil, owned by the oil and gas company Rosneft. After the second and third stages of the construction, the volume of oil transshipment is going to increase to 100 million tons. For compression, the total export of all Russian oil in 2022 was supposed to be 242 million tons according to Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak. The Northern Sea Road will facilitate this activity. Investments in its development for the period before 2035 could amount to 17.5 billion euros which would focus mostly on the construction of new ports. Rosatom presented a federal project geared toward year-round navigation on the Northern Sea Road, which is now being approved by the government. According to the document, by 2030, the cargo flow along the NSR would swell to 150 million tons per year. What conclusions can Bellona draw so far? The Arctic is being prepared for an increased level of exploitation, regardless of the environmental risks and the opinion of the environmental movement. Bellona will continue to monitor Russia's actions in this region. Together we must find ways to protect the Arctic, reduce the risks of pollution and preserve the region for future generations.